Okay. So, I'm going to kind of just page through this a little bit. Just to give you an idea, this is Stephen Jay Gould, The Structure of Evolutionary Theory. And as you can see, it's fairly little book as I recall the structure of evolutionary theory doesn't look very structured actually pretty strange and this was copyright 2002 by the way, by the President and Fellows of Harvard College, Stephen J. Gould. And by the way, his name Stephen is with a PH. So it goes to at least 1393, page 1393. That's when the index begins. And you've got a big index, actually. So defining and revising the structure of evolutionary theory the history of darwinian logic and debate from chapters two to seven and then the seek from part one to part two we have chapters eight to twelve towards a revised and expanded evolutionary theory and remember this is what was it 2002 right so so that's already 21 years ago as of this date and what amazed me as i was reading through this was how evolved evolutionary theory has become so evolutionary theory evolves and as i could I've got underlines as practicing scientists, we often do not pay enough respect to the logical structure of an argument, to its rigors and its entailments. We tend to assume that conclusions flow unambiguously from data, and that if we observe nature closely enough and experiment with sufficient care and cleverness, the right ideas will somehow coalesce or flow into place by themselves. Lamarck's great error, and that of many other of his compatriots, is materialism. These are all little underlined. I conceived this book, The Structure of Evolutionary Theory, both as a celebration of Darwin's exemplary toughness and as a call for the reinstitution of causal hierarchy, properly reformulated, etc., Thus, we may view Lamarck and Darwin as occupying the common ground of functionalism with their differing mechanisms of natural selection and soft inheritance as versions of the same deeper commitment. I ask, what about Bergson? I didn't see him mentioning Bergson in any of this. Or the great chain of being... So, seeds of hierarchy. Galton's polyhedron. So you can see there's quite quite a lot. I also have weird bookmarks, including the Muni Tax 450. 
4,502.88. I wonder what year that was. Hmm. Historical constraints, structural constraints, spandrels and exaptation. I wonder how many folks have actually ever read this whole thing. Now, I know Mark Failer, who was the one who told me about it, was in a course that concentrated on it. So I'm assuming in the course they were able to uh, get through the whole book. I'm definitely not going to read the rest of it tonight. But I'll... I'll put a dent in it. And there. So that's kind of a fun book.